I'm so sorry. It's fine. There was this old lady. I, I was walking down the street and suddenly this old lady, she was not going fast, but still, she missed the step onto the curb and, well, she face planted. Oh my God. I know, and, and, and her tooth came out and there was blood. Blood was everywhere and oh, I get freaked out just imagining it, it again, saying it again. Oh my God. That is horrifying. I'm sorry. I really didn't want to be late, especially if we want to make the opening band. It's really not a big deal. I don't even care about them that much. We can still pregame. I know, but I even left with so much time to spare, and I was just going to sit and wait in a coffee shop if I was too early. You were helping an old lady. Yeah, but I didn't really do anything. I was too far away when it happened, and I was kind of like frozen there, and other people saw her and were able to help her up and call an ambulance. So you didn't do anything? I didn't want to complicate things by getting involved. Like, my body would be in the way. Well, hey, you're here now. The lady is probably fine. Would you like a drink? Yeah. I mean, she's good in an ambulance and also, yeah, to the drink. <laughs> what do you have? I like your makeup. You don't have to say that. But I'm drinking a cocktail with tequila, ginger beer, lime, and a black currant liqueur. Damn, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna need your help with my makeup or I'll look like a disaster. <laughs> Yes, a casual fan, <laughs> but she's unreal. Like, she unreal. Was I like, had no idea she'd be that good live. <laughs> so, what have you been up to since the other night? Well, I've been, I don't know, I've been kind of doing my acting thing. Well, I've been auditioning. I had an audition, but mainly I was doing my standardized. Oh, right, right. you have that med school job where you pretend to be a patient for the med student? Standardized patient, yeah. I don't know. I like it. it. Pays well, but it probably seems like second rate acting to you. No, it's a cool job and it supports you. Really? I don't know, I just don't want people to think I'm a failure. No, <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's important. It, you're making doctors better doctors. It's like you're directly saving lives. Yeah, I guess it is kind of cool. It is. Well, I'm glad you think so. I was kind of nervous about telling you about it last week. How do you think so highly of my opinion? Well, I do. Well, I'm flattered. <laughs> Cutie. What? What? I didn't say anything. I didn't hear anything. You don't think I'm a troll? Why else would I go on three dates? Well, I don't know. I thought like you were just being nice or doing it because you thought you should. It's a very strong veil of insecurity. I'm, okay, I'm not, I... <sighs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I really like you. Oh. Well, I... I really like you too. Are you dead? 
or just dying. Dying. <gasps> There's hope. Quick, um, tell me some of the doctor stuff you've learned <laughs> at work so I know how to save you. <laughs> nurse, nurse, come quick, we're, we're losing him. Bring the defibrillator. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to do mouth to mouth. <laughs> this is an emergency. I'm HIV positive. Oh. That is. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Don't don't be sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. I don't know why I said that. Thank you for telling me. That's very brave of you to be that honest with me. Well, I hope you know that that doesn't scare me away. I don't actually have HIV. What? I'm not. I don't know why I said that. I just kind of like panicked. So you don't have HIV? No. I'm sorry, that was really fucked up of me. Wow. I'm sorry. You can go, and, or if you want, I, you probably want to go now. Will, I'm confused. That was a really fucked up thing to say, to do. Why? It was, it was fucked up. I'm fucked up, I don't know why. You, you told me you had HIV because, what, you were afraid of me? Yeah. Seriously, you can go if you, I understand if you think I'm a total piece of shit now. Like, I knew you would find out eventually. I don't know why I keep trying. Do you even like me at all? Okay. <laughs> Fine, I'll go. One sidedness is no fun for anyone. Stop, no, I really like you. How do you even expect me to believe that? I'm sorry. Stop being sorry. I don't like commitment. That is the dumbest excuse I've ever heard everyone say. Commitment is Going on another date or getting to know someone is not a lot of commitment and everyone is afraid of it. But we can't go on in our lives like that. I know. So you're never going to let yourself have an emotional experience with someone else because you don't want to get hurt? Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, why is it so easy for you? It's not, it's not easy for me. It seems really easy. It's not at all. I find that really hard to believe, Mr. Perfect. It's not easy for me, you asshole. I have HIV. And it, it's actually the hardest thing I've ever faced in my life. Not the HIV. The looks in their faces when I tell them because I am so young and the commitment and the trust and the fear of having someone else desert you when they find out when ultimately I just want love like anyone else. That is hard. That is scary. I told you I don't want you to be sorry. Hey. I messed up. I don't know how to make it up to you, but I'd like to try. Can we still try? I really appreciate you saying that. But I, 
think I've seen something that I don't think I'll be able to get over. Even if things were good from here on out with how we handled this, there's always going to be a voice in the back of my head. And that voice is going to fill every moment we have together in one way or another. So, I think I have to wave the white flag now before I get injured again. And I'm hoping you understand that. I hope you have a good night.